and your family needs help, you drop everything and come running. I don't want to let Heraldar down. I've got to get the Midri open again. I made a promise. You picked a bad time to visit Volyar's Midri, friend. It used to make the sweetest mead you ever tasted, but that was before the Orc Thane's thugs showed up demanding free mead. Their leader got angry and lost control. He killed the Volyar family. More than you know, they killed my wife Inga. She was old man Volyar's daughter. I planned to reopen the meadery. My brothers came to help. We need to get rid of the stone fists and gather the ingredients Rorald needs to start fermenting mead again. I'm a farmer, not a fighter, and the place is still crawling with Fildgore's thugs. Maybe you could get into the meadery and make sure it's safe. Once inside, grab the recipe book and some fragrant herbs and rare spices. We'll follow behind you.
We followed you and Eralda dealt with the remaining Storm Fists before heading back out. The meadery is completely secure now. Rorald is already at work downstairs. We want to start filling orders as quickly as we can. Thank you. This has been difficult, but I'm grateful. Rorald muttered something about honey and giants. If you're up to it, I'm sure he could use your help to get his first batch of mead started. As soon as we're up and running, you can have all the mead you can drink. Oh, by the way, have you met my twin brother Eroldar yet? Eroldar's outside somewhere. He hates losing, and I know he wants a crack at the orc bastard that killed my Inga. If you see Eroldar, make sure he isn't in over his head. Fen should be along shortly. I just wish I knew where Bjorald was. The bees are too agitated. They must be calm to produce the most flavorful honey. The stone fist ruffians chased the giant across the road right into my beehives. It's scaring the bees, and frightened bees make bitter honey. You need to get rid of that giant before anything else goes wrong. Wait, it's coming. Another one of my brilliant ideas. And that is why Heralda made me the master mead maker. Use the bees against the giant. Just kick a beehive. The bees will go after the biggest target out there, the giant. Well, it was just an idea. And a rather good one, too. Oh, I know. Let me splash you with this. It smells like smoke and ashes. The bees hate it. Now you shouldn't have any bee problems. Best cowards.
devour the bees. The success of the meadery depends on their honey. It has to be perfect. And you brought me its toe. I was only joking about that, but thank you. I started organizing things here. I don't suppose you ran into my brother Briorl, did you? He looks like me, but he's not as smart. I sent Bjorl to get a barrel of apple blossom honey from the barn. He probably got lost. But I need that honey to make more meat. Could you get the honey? And if you see Bjorl, send him this way. He needs to deliver these casks to Windhelm. What do you think mead is? It's fermented honey. The flavor changes depending on the honey, spices and herbs used in the process. It's a delicate balance to get it just right. You can try some when you come back. for a while. Brigands, overbearing brothers, too much honey. I need more sleep. Oh, I was having the most wonderful dream about a bear. Oh, all right. I'll get back to work. I just need to rest my eyes for a few more moments. I have lots of ideas for new flavors of meat. I just need to find more suppliers of spices and herbs. Wonderful! 
I'm sure it will make a delightful mead. And another batch is ready. I would be honored if you'd be the first to taste it. Oh, a touch of this, a bit of that. Just take a good long swallow. See if you can taste the subtle notes of Alakia spice, wildflower honey, and late summer herbs. Look who's finally up and about. You really can't hold your mead. Rorold's latest batch must have been pretty potent. The Volyar name has always stood for fine mead. In memory of my wife, we plan to continue that tradition. Thanks for your help. Taking a dagger in the ribs, I'd deal with these damn stone fists myself. I'm the tough one. I've taken down some of the stone fist soldiers, but their leader, Kazok, still lives. He's the one that killed poor Inga. As long as he's alive, these bastards won't leave. Someone needs to plant Kazok's head on a pike. Kazok's camp is up the path behind the barn. Take out more of his troops along the way. And that ought to make Kazakh angry enough to appear and face you. And when he shows up, kill him. Then we can stick his head on one of these pikes. An orc head on a pike will be great for business. It shows that this meadery is safe and that the snow peaks are as tough as nails. Kazakh's axe hungers for blood! I saw the whole thing. Well
Well done. I wish I could have helped, but you had everything under control. Meet me down near the barn. We need to stick this ugly head on a pike. Can't wait to tell Haralda that this Kazok bastard is dead. Nothing yet, but it needs to get stuck on one of these pikes. That's where it belongs. You should do the honors. It's only fair since you defeated them and all. That should put the fear of Shore and the rest of those Stormfist lackeys. That is a thing of beauty. Kazok's head never looked better. It might be ugly, but nothing says security like an orc's head on a pike. Haralda will be pleased that I, uh, um, that we took care of Kazok. It's small comfort for the loss of his wife, but he'll appreciate anything that helps the Midori. Now we can put this Midori back together again. Thanks.